Hi everybody, Lee Varis here, bringing you Photoshop tips and techniques for teachers and students. In today's rant, uh, we're going to return to black and white, this time with some landscape images, and we're going to explore black and white conversions uh, by blending multiple channels together. So let's take a look. This tutorial examines three different images to show how to blend the different RGB grayscale channel renderings into an idealized black and white image. We'll see how to use channel mixer adjustments for black and white conversions, how to use the apply image command to place individual channel renderings into layers, how to use advanced blending options to apply the light in half of an overlay layer blend mode, and we'll see how to use layer masks to selectively apply the different channel, tone, and contrast renderings to build the final image. All right, first up, we have uh, this landscape image uh, from Iceland. We, uh, we do a photo tour to Iceland uh, every year, and this, uh, this one was uh, two years ago. Um, Great uh, glacier ice flow coming down uh, the mountain. Very, very dramatic here. Uh, but I think this will make a great black and white image. And uh, to begin my exploration here, I'm going to look at the individual uh, grayscale channels. So as we know, every color image is made up of grayscale channels. And we have the red channel here. So I'm just soloing this by clicking on the, the thumbnail for the channel. Um, so that's the red channel, that's the green channel, and the blue channel. So we have three very radically different black and white renderings. And there, there are things about the each of these that um, I can probably take advantage of. Clearly the most dramatic one is, is the red channel. So I'm going to start my exploration of black and white by using uh, the red channel. So we're going to do that. Um, We'll use, a, we'll use a channel mixer. So I'm going to go to my channel mixer adjustment, get a channel mixer. And uh, the all of the presets here are uh, black and white conversions. So we're going to use black and white with red filter. And this gives us 100% of the red channel. So it's like putting the red channel in a layer here. Very nice and dramatic. Uh, now I want to get uh, another channel mixer because I want to put the uh, the green channel in. Now the problem here, if I pick one of the defaults here, I pick black and white with green filter, which gives me 100% of the green channel as my uh, mix. The problem is that nothing is happening here um, because it's already converted into black and white by the previous channel mixer. So this one was red. I want to put the green channel in here, but I, I can't get at the green, the original green filter this way. There's a little trick to, to there where I can reach down to the original background and pull up the original green filter into this layer. So uh, the trick involves blending options. So in my layer options flyaway here, I'm going to select blending options. These are additional blending options besides just the, uh, the layer blend mode. Uh, and the trick here comes in this advanced blending area where we see knockout. And if I choose knockout deep, I reach down all the way to the background and pull up that original uh, green channel. So you see it's completely different. Uh, and I'm not going to use the whole uh, thing. I'm go I've got a layer mask here. I'm going to invert this layer mask. So Command or Control I. Um, and uh, now I'm going to kind of paint in the area where I want to use this is really in this area. It's the green channel is much brighter in, in, uh, in this area. So I'm just using a soft edge brush here. Uh, this very soft edge brush to brush in uh, into this shadow area to just open it up a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to more or less keep uh, most of uh, the red channel in here. I know this little area here, I'm going to simplify this 
um, it's also kind of darkening the highlights there give me a little more kind of a wedge shape in here um, maybe maybe in in these shadow areas it's a little lighter in the green channel so we'll brighten those up just a little bit so I'm, I'm, I'm using the uh, blending the channels in a way to bring out details or suppress other details um, and so we'll, let's look at the layer mask that I just brushed in you can kind of see I'm just very soft edged you know brushing in just that portion of the green channel black and white so that's opened up the shadows there nicely and, and it's also kind of I'm creating a, a simpler black and white shape here rather than that highly textured one um, okay blue channel now let's let's go back and uh, solo the the color um, and I do that by holding down the alter option and clicking on the little eye icon so that just solos that layer you can use it to solo anything so when we come in here uh, let's look at the blue channel again So the blue channel has brighter snow, and that might be interesting. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it doesn't have a lot to recommend it. However, if I, I may be able to use this to uh, kind of pop some highlights into the snow. So uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's get back here. Um, so I want to use the uh, blue channel in overlay mode. And uh, one of the problems of, of this approach of using the channel mixers, um, you know, multiple channel mixers, I can, I can uh, get at the, the blue channel, right? I can go black and white with blue filter gives me 100% of the blue channel, but I have to use that trick to get the um, blending options and knock out deep. Okay, so that much I can do. But as soon as I place this layer in any other kind of blend mode, um, like I want to use it in overlay mode, it I suddenly get color again. So uh, the way around that is instead of using a channel mixer to get that blue channel, I'm going to put uh, the blue channel information in a, in a layer. So instead of the channel mixer, I'm going to use this little trick, image, apply image, and I can get that background layer, right? And I can get the blue channel from that background layer and place it in this empty layer. And since th these are now pixels in this layer, not, not an, uh, an adjustment, um, I can change this now to overlay. And you'll see I've got this real contrasty effect. Uh, what I want to do is not use the darkening half of this overlay um, blend mode. So uh, if we look at it in normal, uh, in, uh, an overlay or soft light uh, is kind of a contrast enhancing blend mode that, that says um, everything that's darker than middle gray will make the underlying image darker and everything that's lighter than middle gray will make the image lighter. So if I go into overlay the darker parts are actually darkening the dark parts of the mountain and the light parts of the snow are brightening the image, right? But I just want to use uh, part of this in overlay mode. So I'm going to add a black layer mask here. We'll then be option or alt and click on the layer mask thumbnail, layer mask uh, icon down here and I get a black layer mask. And now again, I can paint with white and I'm going to uh, paint those white highlights in over here in, in the and you notice how it, it, as I'm painting in I'm getting the dark part of this so there's another trick I'm going to use here 
another blending options trick but instead of this knockout deep thing what I'm going to do is blend out the darker half so everything that's darker than middle gray I'm blending through that in this blue channel layer so I'm only using the light lighter half of that layer to kind of pop the highlights so instead of it see that way I'm just lightening the snow back here without without darkening uh, the rocks so I don't want to make it darker right so I'm just kind of you know maybe just this little area here get a little bit of a feeling of extra light on the snow there and um, I don't think there's any areas that I can make lighter uh, in the mountains but you know, give it a maybe there is something back in there just a little bit yeah just a little bit of brightening in some of the snow here um, maybe maybe just that top of that ridge I'll just make that a little bit brighter so you can kind of see how I'm I am uh, applying See if I can make nothing. Nothing else is is brighter. Maybe a few little glints of snow here in the in the foreground. Um, so I'm just blending parts of the three channels, the red, green, and the blue, to create the overall effect. So uh, again, let's sort of go from the bottom. We we have the color image. First, I put a red channel uh, mixer adjustment on. And then I put a green channel and just blended in the part of it that I wanted. Uh, and then I finally added this little bit of the blue channel in overlay mode to kind of ping those uh, snow highlights. And um, there's my, my black and white. All right, let's, uh, let's I'm gonna stop this. All right, let's, uh, now we'll look at this one. This is another landscape from uh, Iceland. Always very dramatic skies, and uh, you know it's uh, just just what a wonderful em environment to to shoot in. Uh, and this was last year we did this. So. Anyway, um, black and white. Let's let's look at our strategy. We're look at look at the individual channels. There's the red channel. A lot of contrast in the red channel. Um, green. Um, perhaps the foreground looks a little bit better in the green, and the blue again. Um, a little, uh, you know, interesting. We'll see what we're going to do here. I think it'll be somewhat similar to the last one. So we'll start again with our uh, channel mixer adjustments. And this time I'll do it this way. And uh, we will get black and white with red filter. Uh, go for that dramatic sky. Uh, foreground is maybe, you know, a little too white in the grass here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get another channel mixer. Um, and um, this one uh, again we have to use that knockout deep so I'm going to get my blending options here do my knockout deep and of course now it's giving me the default which is uh, just plain RGB we're going to use black and white with uh, green filter and uh, I, I I want to keep the sky from the red channel, so I'm going to mask that off using a gradient. So I'll get a black to white gradient here, and uh, we'll start like halfway through the mountain here, and I'm going to just drag down, and I'll, if I hold down the shift key, it'll constrain it, so I get a nice uh, perpendicular gradient that's going to basically give me the sky. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm using, I'm substituting the the, the green um, channel for the foreground and it also is it's brightening up uh, this this car which had was darker in the red channel and okay so now I want that blue channel again and I'm going to try to do that that overlay trick so that means that I need pixels so I'll create an empty layer and so that will end up being the blue channel. I'm going to start labeling my layers before I lose track. This is my red channel. That's my green channel. And uh, so the blue channel, we, we 
get at with our image apply image background blue channel it doesn't really matter what the blending is here it's just like putting it normal uh, uh, because the layer was empty but uh, now I've got you know little little tiny highlights and dark areas uh, and if I place this in overlay blend mode you notice I get a lot of color I mean a lot of contrast in there uh, and I'm, I want to do the same sort of thing I want to mask off the sky because I want that from the um, from the red channel so I'm going to just duplicate this layer mask and the shortcut here is if I hold down the option or alt key and then just drag that layer mask thumbnail I can drop it in uh, the blue channel layer and so now I've masked off the sky and I have just this happening in the foreground I don't need it at 100 percent I'm going to drop it down here oh, like 40 percent just to put a little more contrast and interest in it and I'm thinking that I can probably ping the highlights a little more. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate that blue channel layer. And I'm going to throw away the channel, the layer mask, because I'm going to end up painting my own layer mask in here. So I'm just going to delete it. And we're still in overlay mode, but I don't want the darker half of this. So that's similar to what we did before. I'm going to get my blending options. And blend through the darker half of this so I only want to lighten so I put this right at 128 which is right in the middle and so we're only using the lighter half uh, to ping the highlights down in there I'm gonna hide this whole thing so I'm gonna hold down the option or alt and click on the layer mask thumbnail and now I've hid the whole thing and I just, I think I want to just kind of, uh, let me, let me exchange my foreground. I'm going to paint with white to reveal uh, just a little bit of highlights here. Um, more subtly kind of blending this in. Um, maybe, maybe we can get a little more of kind of a horizon glow back there in the distant horizon because the blue channel will be a little brighter back there. Uh, but I, I noticed that uh, I don't want, I don't want this, this part of the Jeep to be, I don't want that area to get too light. So I'm going to mask that off. And I think I'm going to mask off also the little bit of uh, overlay effect happening over here and get some tone back into that area of the Jeep. Um, so you can see I just it's just added just a little bit of, of uh, highlights from that and I think you know um, I can probably emphasize this effect by uh, brightening up that this blue channel layer <clears throat> so I'm gonna get uh, I'm going to get a curve adjustment there and uh, we'll clip this so that it's only going to be affecting this this blue overlay uh, layer and I'm just going to crank the, the contrast up and kind of until it you can see how it's just that's helping to brighten that area but it's also being constrained by the same layer mask and the same overlay calculation, which is now just kind of acting a little bit brighter back there. Um, maybe I can trim down the, the horizon just a little bit, get it a little lower to the, to the, to the horizon. So I'm masking that off. And you can see the, the, this is sort of just painting in, you know, where I want these extra, little extra ping in the highlights. And uh, the, most of the work is being done by this uh, layer, which is putting the contrast in the foreground to match the contrast that I have in the sky. Okay, let's take a look at one more uh, image. All right, so here's another one. Uh, this one is 
a really kind of a great color image, uh, but let's see what we can do in black and white here. So again, uh, look at the individual channels, just to just try and decide what I'm going to do. And boy, the, the red channel certainly is dramatic, isn't it? It's like super contrasty. Um, the green channel, I like, you know, it's lightening some of the greener foliage in here, lighter rocks in there. That That's going to be pretty interesting. And the blue channel also has some lighter rocks in here. And, uh, so let's let's see. We're going to blend all three of these together in an interesting way here. So um, this time I'm going to get started with a channel mixer again. I'll grab it from here. Channel mixer. And instead of, um, I mean, I could, I could go for the gusto here and, and go all the way for the red filter, but I'm thinking... You know, maybe I'm going to use black and white with orange filter, which gives me, um, I, I believe it's a fifth there. Here's the bug again. This, there's a slight, every once in a while, this, it, it does not report the slider positions to give you that preset. And I know in this case, it's like 50-50, right? So it's 50% of the red, 50% of the green, because the red, I think, is a little too dark and dramatic, but maybe... Maybe I can go, you know, 70-30 here. So if you if you adjust it so that it adds up to 100, it doesn't skew the, the, the white point in the image. But now the, you know, it's not quite as super dark in the water. I mean, the water was black, and now this has got a little bit of that green lightning effect going on in it. Um, so now I'm now I'm thinking I'm going to use the other uh, channels in uh, layer blend mode. So that means I'm going to have to get pixels in empty layers. So um, this is the blue. This is sort of a, a a a red red green mix, um, mostly red. So then uh, let's get an empty layer in there and we'll put, uh, we'll put the green channel at full strength in here. And um, let's go to my image, apply image. And we're going to reach down to the background and find that green, the original green channel, uh, which is lighter just about everywhere, um, except for these mountains back there. It's lighter than the red channel. Uh, but what we're going to do now is apply this in lighten mode uh, and really all I just I think I just want to use it back in here in, in, in the, uh, the foliage because it is a little bit lighter in the foliage. So we'll start by masking it off. Hold down the option or alt then click on the layer mask thumbnail we will get a black layer mask, and now we're going to paint in, and again, a uh, nice soft brush. I'm just going to paint in uh, a little bit into the shadow areas. It's, there's a little bit of lightning happening on the rocks. They're a little bit lighter, a um, little bit lighter foliage back there. It's not as strong as an effect as I had hoped. So... Um, I mean, it's doing something, right? But we can use a curve, uh, and I'm going to clip that curve to that green channel lighten only layer. And uh, let's just increase that contrast. You can kind of see that the, the highlights picking up here. I just want to do it. I don't want to really crank it, obviously. I just want to get get those little kind of highlights to, to ping a little bit. And it, this is different than just running that that uh, that filter directly because it's really just lightening this layer, which is being used to lighten parts everywhere it can make the underlying layer lighter. It's going to be lightening it. Where it doesn't, it doesn't have any effect. So there's parts in that layer that are darker than the, than the uh, red channel and parts that are lighter, uh, notably the, the, the green foliage. Okay, so let's, let's now uh, 
get at that blue channel because blue channel also has, if we look at the uh, original color image, these rocks are kind of blue, so they are going to be lighter. And even, you know, some of these bushes back there may be lighter in the blue channel. We'll, we'll have to see. So I'm going to, if I click on this again while I'm holding down the Option or Alt key, it'll unsolo it and put me black in, back in my black and white here. All right, so I'm going to get now um, the blue channel. And again, we have to go Image, Apply Image. Uh, go down to the blue channel, and the blue channel is is you know it's got darker rocks, but uh, you know these this these rocks, but these little rocks are a little bit lighter. So we're going to place this in lighten mode, and um, we'll mask that off. I'm not sure if we're really going to get. A strong enough effect here but let's try um, if I turn off that that blue that curve that's lightening that green channel thing we can maybe see what effect um, this blue in lighten mode is gonna have and I, it does have slightly brighter uh, in, some of these rocks are more blue and so they're slightly brighter right um, and maybe yeah some of these things back there those those bushes were a little bluer so they're a little brighter okay uh, and because it's in lightened mode it can't make anything darker it can only make only those elements which are actually lighter will make the underlying image lighter so now I'm gonna turn on my brightening for that green layer and add another curve for my blue layer and Make sure I clip this curve to this, because I want to use the contrast that's already in that blue layer with this curve. And I'm just looking at, you know, these these trees and those those rocks getting just a little bit brighter. Yeah, just something like that. So it's, it's subtle, but it's giving a little, you know, it's kind of working it a little bit here. Now, the last thing I want to do is maybe put a little more uh, tone into these bright mountains back there. It's sort of like I'm sculpting a little of an HDR kind of effect here, brightening the shadows and knocking down the highlights. So I'm going to get um, and look, we'll take a look at the at the layers. I'm going to uh, solo the color, um, original color, by clicking uh, Option or Alt, clicking on that eye, and uh, let's take a look here. Uh, if I look at the red channel, it's got a lot of contrast and it's really bright in the mountains back there. The green channel is a little bit dark, has more detail in the rocks. And the blue channel is just plain too dark, right? So I, I'm thinking that we're going to use a little bit of that, um, uh, the, the green channel uh, up at the top here. And uh, I can do that. I can do that with a, a channel mixer because I'm, I'm going to just reach down. I'm not going to apply it in a in a layer with a layer blend mode I'm just going to use a normal layer blend so I can I can use the channel mixer and pick the uh, black and white with green filter which should give me 100% of that green channel and I have to use the knockout deep thing so it, when you say knockout deep it reaches all the way down to a layer that's called background so if you don't have a background layer you're not going to be able to do this but in this case my color background layer i'm just pulling up the green channel and uh, i am going to probably use this at a lower opacity but right now i'm going to invert this layer mask so command or control i and it's going to turn that layer mask black now i want to come up in here and uh, uh, I'm going to just brush this in um, over this. Now I can see, see how the, the sky is brighter if I brush over into the sky. And uh, uh, I, don't, I don't really like that. I just want to darken this. So... 
So I, I can't change this to, um, let's say, darken, because it's going to bring the color image back, right? So I, I, as it turns out, I still need to put a, a pixel layer there. So we're going to put the green in that layer. And uh, we'll apply, do the image apply image thing. Get my green from the background. Now I'm going to place this in darken mode. And see, that way uh, I'm not affecting the sky because I can't make the sky darker from the green channel, but I can make the things that are darker darker. And now I, it's much easier to mask. So I'm going to hold down my uh, Alt or Option and, and click on the layer mask here to make a, a black layer mask. And now I can just I can paint right over the sky. Not a big problem here, just to darken this area just a little bit. Okay, so I think that, that does it for me here. Um, and I think I've made a, a pretty uh, pretty nice black and white. Let's, let's start at the bottom here. There's my original color. We added the sort of red-green, mostly red channel mix of uh, using the channel mixer. And uh, then I used the green channel in lighten only mode um, to kind of brighten up some of these uh, elements in the landscape. And then added just a little more of a curve to bring that up. Then we have the, the blue channel also in lighten only mode, but uh, we had to put a little curve on there to kind of ping those those other little areas make them just a little bit brighter and finally on top just darkening back those distant mountains just a little bit put a little more detail in them uh, and make it kind of match a little more of the, the feeling of the rock over here so um, there you go let's take a look at, at all of them here there's my uh, this was in Zion National Park uh, here's uh, my Iceland picture and uh, another Iceland picture. So all very dramatic black and whites uh, with very uh, carefully blended multi-channel approach to creating the black and white. So to review, we saw how to blend multiple RGB channels to build an ideal black and white conversion. We used advanced blending options with Knockout Deep to reach down to the background and place the original unaltered channel into a channel mixer adjustment. We saw how to use layer masks to selectively blend different channel renderings. We used the Apply Image command to place the blue channel rendering into pixel layers. And we used advanced blending options again, this time to selectively apply the light and half of an overlay layer blend. We clipped a curves adjustment layer to the blue channel applied image layer to amplify the contrast, and we used lighten and darken layer blend modes to help blend different channel renderings together. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Photoshop Rant. If you have any questions or you'd like to see more detail about any of the techniques I touched on in this project, please let me know in the comments. You can always find more detailed information on my website, and you might consider following me on YouTube and Twitter to find out about my various classes and workshops. Be sure and like the video, and please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and ring the bell so that you don't miss any rants in the future. You might consider following me on Instagram, I have two books in print available on Amazon and Kindle, as well as paper versions, Mastering Exposure and the Zone System for Digital Photographers, and my bestseller, Skin, The Complete Guide to Digitally Lighting, Photographing, and Retouching Faces and Bodies. If you're looking for more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, I have a number of video courses available from my online school at veris.com. Look under the Education menu for online courses and pick from over 16 courses covering all aspects of post-production, workflow, retouching, and special effects, including my latest course on black and white mastery. 
This new course is still at an introductory price of just $20 and currently includes four project lessons with eight different images, including the images from this rant, several hours of step-by-step -step video lessons. The cost for this course will go up to $99 next month, so enroll now before the price goes up. Thank you for watching. Post your questions and suggestions for topics to explore under the video, and I'll see you in the next Photoshop rant.